Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Adobe Premiere Pro, brought to you by CreativeCow.net. Today, I'm going to show you a couple of simple techniques to stylize flat or dull footage, things you could do when you have less than perfect source material and you want to go for something a little bit more dramatic. I typically reserve these techniques for when I'm creating things like bumpers or title sequences for my video, and I find that this is a great way to just put a little bit more life into the shot. Let's take a look. Here we go. We've got an outdoor shot, and it's fine. It's a little soft focus. That was on purpose. We're just going for sort of a stylized look here, and I want to just bump this up a little bit. So let's take that shot, and we'll start to process it. One of my favorite things to use is the calculations effect. So I'll just type that in and drop that on. And if we twirl that down, you're going to see a lot of different options here. But basically what's happening is we can combine different channels within the same image. So I'm going to take the RGB channel as the first source and then take the same video clip but just use the gray value and start to lay that on top. Now if you come down here, you see you've got blending modes. So you could use different blending modes, such as add or lighten, to sort of brighten things up there. And notice how we got sort of a cool bleach bypass look. And what we did there again is we took the original video value plus the grayscale value of that same video clip and combined them using a blending mode. In this case, we go with one of the brightening category, starting with add, and you see that each one looks a little different. So here is screen, and that's pretty nice. And then you just adjust the opacity to get sort of the effect you want. So we've already got a nice sort of blown out highlight look there that's working pretty well. Now, to take this a little bit further, I'm just going to explore some of my other effects that I like. Let's twirl this down and go on into our stylized category. And I'm going to take our Find Edges effect. Now, on its own, way too strong. And you see there that it's got very little options. But if I invert that and I start to blend that back, you see at a lower value there, it does a nice job of just sort of creating a gentle edge on things, giving it a little bit of an illustration style look. If that doesn't work for you, you can always go to the old standby, and for that, you're just going to take the clip and duplicate it. Let's select it, copy, paste, and put that on top. And on the top copy here, apply a blur effect. Let's go here with fast blur, so it's nice and quick. And we'll crank that up healthy. Now the nice thing about the fast blur is the option here to repeat the edges. That's good because if you apply a normal blur, what happens is that it starts to get a little transparent at the edges of the video. But the fast blur has the repeat edge pixel option, which keeps that from dropping out any of the pixel data. We can now go in here to opacity and tweak blend modes again. And notice there, soft light's pretty nice, or maybe multiply to richen the color. I think I like soft light the best and we can adjust that or even brighten it up further. What we got there now is a nice blown out highlights look where our brights are just blooming. We got that sort of burnt look and it really worked pretty cool. You want to get in there more, there's all sorts of other options here such as ghosting, get sort of a trail effect, or you can do other color options. All sorts of cool things under the color correction category, under the blur category, and under the image category. My old favorite that we visited before is going to be that equalize effect. Set that to RGB mode, and you can also get just a nice pop in the color there, and that works pretty well. If this is ever too strong, remember, you've got the ability to back off the opacity of that top layer until you get the look that you want. Here's our original. Here's our new look, and you see it's completely different, and that's kind of a nice effect there sort of a bright light, big city look. For Creative Cow's Video Adrenaline series, my name is Rich Harrington. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Adobe Premiere Pro today. Head on over to creativecow.net where you'll find tons of video tutorials as well as articles and a great magazine that'll help you get more professional results for your video projects. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for joining us.